Tastes great.
Satisfied after this. I still do not understand why it is they are fighting. Finally, be behind Keep going. <laughs> You're as good as I hoped. Nothing beats this feeling. You don't think we're finished, do ya? Yeah, with your face in the dirt. <sighs> They're still at it. They can't even hold their monstrum forms anymore. Those two never cease to amaze. This reminds me of how Kratos was when he first fought Shadow Art. No, I think he's even more determined now. Oh! What is it, Krisha? Is it just me? Or is Kratos' darkness starting to fade? Maybe it's because he's not in his monstrum form anymore. T 
Damn it. How about it? Are you done yet? Like hell I am. <clears throat> You've got to be kidding me. I can't lift a finger. That is the consequence of succumbing to the darkness without knowing how to control it. But it's impressive you've lasted this long while carrying it inside you. I suppose you have Shadowlard to thank for that. Huh? What are you on about? For a long time, your only goal was to defeat Shadowlard. Your determination offset the negativity of your darkness, helping you maintain a balance. When Shadowlard was killed, your goal was no more, and your determination faded. That's when the darkness regained its control over you. What? There's no way in hell. You are a homunculus of a warrior known as a Berserker. Their strength and darkness were two sides of the same coin. Does this sound familiar? <sighs> Since I was a kid, I was good at just about everything without putting in much effort. For a long time, I didn't get how people could be dedicated to anything. But that all changed the first time I got myself into a sword fight. The fear and thrill I felt as I eluded death with every swing of my sword. And then the ensuing euphoria after surviving the life-threatening ordeal. For the first time, I felt alive. I had finally found meaning in my life. Not long after that, I watched Sister Lisa die right there in front of me. After that, things changed. I started challenging strangers, anybody who could put up a fight. I could only feel alive when I was staring death in the face. Contrary to what you believe, you're not a fighter, Kratos. <sighs> What'd you say? Being good at everything made you feel like nothing was worth dedicating yourself to. But then you finally found something. Something you couldn't pick up right away. For the first time, you felt the desire to improve yourself. A desire to improve, huh? The satisfaction you feel stems from overcoming your weaknesses. This instinct is the very darkness inside you, and the source of a berserker's power. There's a thin line between conquering the darkness and being conquered by it. You're not making any sense. At this very moment, as you lie there helpless on the ground, what do you feel? <laughs> Pissed off at how I didn't stand a chance against him. If you were truly angry, would you be smiling? I'm... smiling? Perhaps you feel like you found what you were looking for. You might even feel gratitude toward your opponent. Huh? <sighs> you must have felt the same way after you lost to Shadowlard. I was... grateful to him? Warriors like you need a fair fight where they can realize their fullest potential. As long as you understand this, you will never be swallowed by your darkness again. Things are often simpler than they seem. You need only to change your perspective. <laughs> Dr. Noah told me something. He said that Shadowlard and Sister Lisa were childhood friends. What? It's possible Sister Lisa asked him to watch over you. I am as much to blame for placing you in that orphanage to begin with. I'm sorry, Kratos. For everything. <clears throat> That's a whole lot of jabbering just to embarrass me. For someone they call a saint, you sure are a pain in the ass. <clears throat> I give up. You win, alright? I guess I can stick with you guys a little longer. Good. Welcome back. 
I have you to thank, Adol. Now, we can face the Grimwald Nox as a complete team. <laughs> it appears all is well now. Ugh, you guys really had me worried. Hey, how's it feel to be dragged home by Mommy after running away? Come closer and say that again. Um, I'm just happy that Kratos back. Yes, I think we all are. I need to speak with you all about what's to come. Let's continue this discussion at the Dandelion. Adol, would you please carry Kratos? Not in a million years. What's the matter? Big boy Kratos can't walk on his own? You little shit. Enjoy it while you still can. <laughs> <laughs> Always happy to help. Oh, why does it have to be the Victory Day Festival, of all days? It's the day when the monsters are most active as a result of their amassed enmity. Monsters are more vicious today than any other time in the year. It's a testament to how deep the scars left by the Hundred Years' War really are. A Hundred Year War with a 500-year-old curse, huh? And now they're overflowing into our side. Civilians will be out celebrating. We'd best exercise caution. Yes. Tonight the Grimwald Nox will appear. And it will be like none other you've faced thus far. How will tonight be different from the other times? If it were just more monsters, it may not pose a great threat for you monstrums. But the truth of the matter is, we don't know what'll happen until the time comes. I searched as much as I could, but I can't be certain of anything. So, we're going in blind. The Grimwald Nox is nothing more than a shell that the gods created. What resides within it is determined by the emotions it has accumulated. <laughs> like the kids said, we're going into a wolf's den dressed like sheep. Well, I suppose it wouldn't be much fun if we knew exactly what to expect. Did you find anything about where Zola is? You mentioned that we might not have to fight him after all. Yeah, nobody's heard from him. I doubt that coward would have shown his face anyway. Even I do not fully comprehend Papa. He does not see the world as we do. As his prior actions suggest, there is nothing he will not do to complete his research. I am not the best judge of character, but I advise against thinking of him as an ally. He was a remarkably adept strategist during the war, and was always true to his ideals. We had more than our share of arguments because of that. We should expect that he will intervene. He seems pretty quick to turn a blade against his allies from the Hundred Years' War. Not that I wouldn't do the same to him. So, what now? Are we Are just gonna sit on our hands until the Grimwald knocks? But there's still the danger of monsters appearing in the city. It couldn't hurt to go look around. Yufa's right. Either way, we'll all come back here when it's time. Be vigilant in areas where enmity may have accumulated the most. Especially places that have ties to the Hundred Years' War. We'll keep our eyes peeled. Hmm. So the plan is to patrol the city until the Grimwald Knox emerges. The clock's ticking. Be careful, Al. Now might be a good time to polish up your equipment, top off your supplies. And do come home safe and sound, okay, my darlings? I'll have a glorious feast ready for you once you return.
Well, hello there, Adam. Always take care up there. See you. Buying or not, you buy. I see. You buying? You saw nothing. May we? I got. Hello there. At all. Okay. Hmm. What? Don't look at me like that. Just thought I'd say thanks. Cut the crap. You know, at the Coliseum. I'm usually against thanking people for doing things I didn't ask for. But I figured I owed it to you two. Anyway, take it or leave it. Doesn't matter to me. Hmm. About being a berserker or whatever? I'm still looking to go out with a bang. But at least things make a little more sense than they did before. You can sleep easy knowing I ain't gonna be losing control and slicing people up anymore. Lisa, what does she have to do with anything? <sighs> Fine. I guess I do owe you an explanation. But it's not gonna be the answer you were hoping to hear. Lisa cared about me more than I deserved. She always listened whenever I had something to say, even the trivial things. Thinking back on it, this power of mine awakened after she died. Hmm. If she were still alive, I'd probably be having a drink or two with her right now. Chatelard too. Guess this is what happens to people who get too close to me. That goes for you too, Adol. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> you think? Well, after our duel at the arena, I think I learned a thing or two about you. And now I found a new appreciation for fighting. That super grimwalled Nox or whatever can't come soon enough. Personally, I don't have a problem with this curse sticking around. Huh. 
<sighs> I guess wanting an excuse to fight is in my blood as a berserker. At the same time, there's only so much I can take of this city. Traveling and fighting all over the world doesn't sound so bad to me either. Then... <laughs> You're kidding, right? That's a hard pass. I'm just gonna enjoy the upcoming fight. I'll figure out the rest when it comes. time. It's an acquired taste. A bold aroma, an indulgent flavor. Once you learn to enjoy it, it's quite a treat. You're still young. Perhaps the adult years from now will understand. I hope we can meet then and share our enthusiasm of fine cigars. <sighs> On a different note, you may have seen this around the city. It seems the Bells of Freedom have taken up the mantle of local militia. They're providing security at the festival, even patrolling the city for crime. They're doing a good job at that, considering they were intended as a stand-in for the Knights. <laughs> the people acknowledge that, and who knows, maybe they'll stick around. 
And you know who made that possible? You did, Adel. We are all grateful to you. No. <laughs> Possibly. But I never anticipated that the Bells of Freedom would flourish this much. Glia is on the cusp of change. And I believe that change will bring about a brighter future for this city. Oh, Adel, you've been traveling for many years, haven't you? I've often speculated how Glia compares to the rest of the world. As one who isn't a native Glian, what is your impression of it? <laughs> is that so? What is it about the people that you like? That's a wonderful perspective. <laughs> it fills this old bag with pride, knowing the young ones treasure the city in their own way. If you wouldn't mind, I would love to hear of your other unforgettable adventures. Your tales would pair nicely with these fine cigars. I see. Sure thing! Hmm. You just let me know.
at all. <laughs> Go get him out there, darling. out there. Is this what I think it is? So you remember. 
You promised that we would have a tea party after the war was over. Yes, I did promise that before I left. I can't believe you still remember. I'm sorry, Anamona. I should have been the one to invite you. This was very thoughtful of you. Um... Not at all, Adol. Without you, I would not have found what I was searching for. Yes, you're our guest, and we'll both be your hosts. I'm sure that I can take care of the tea pouring at least. Right, Anamona? You were always too busy playing outside with boys to learn how to. Uh, was it really necessary to bring that up in front of Adol of all people? <laughs> What's wrong? No, it is not that. I was just curious to know how it would be to feel the world like the both of you. Feel the world? Yes. I am only a doll. There are many things I do not understand. The warmth of the sunlight, the gentle breeze of the wind, the aroma of this tea before us. I... wish to feel it too. And to learn more about this world that you two love so dearly. Anamona. I am not used to having thoughts like this. Are they good thoughts? Or are they bad thoughts? Hmm. Hmm. I am only a doll. As such, I should not be having these thoughts to begin with. You've grown up, Anamona. Rosvita. I think having those thoughts are what makes one human. Hmm. I wonder. Could it be that the thing you were searching for wasn't me, but your own self? Hmm? Oh. I remember. When Papa's alchemy experiment failed, I lost my soul. And as punishment, I was separated from you. You've been through a lot, Anamona. But you've found what you lost, and you're finally with me again. Oh. Welcome home, Anamona. My best friend in the whole world. I am home, Rosvita. Thank you for bringing her home, Adol. You're the reason I was able to keep my promise to Anamona. I wish to thank you, too. It is as if there was a haze within me that has now lifted. Rosvita is right. I was really searching for my own self this whole time. You have my deepest gratitude at all.
hope you don't mind coming out here with me at a time like this. I wanted to talk to you about something I didn't want anyone else to hear. You mean... Y no What? Well, I guess he has something to do with it. You already know I'm adopted, right? Well, I haven't told my siblings yet. I was planning on telling them when things weren't so chaotic. But I've been so preoccupied with work and taking care of them. I'm scared knowing that time is getting closer by the day. I'm not sure how they'll react when they find out I'm not their real sister. Uh, about that. Now that we know we're homunculi, not only do I have to tell them that I'm not their real sister, but also that I'm not a real human. I don't want them to be afraid of me. Sorry, Adol. I didn't mean to unload on you like this. But I'm also too scared to tell Felix. You're the only one I can talk to. About it like that. Aha! Caught you cheating! What? Hey, Adol. What are you two up to? Hope it's not something Felix would be worried about. Uh, uh, what? You're not gonna cry, are you? Well, I wasn't really gonna tell Felix. Hey, Ood. Let's say, hypothetically, what if I wasn't your real sister? If I wasn't related to you at all, what would you do? Huh? Wh what are you talking about? Can you just answer the question, Ood? Um, I guess I'd be pretty surprised. I see. But nothing else would really change. Hypothetically, you'd have been living with someone who was lying to you. Wouldn't you feel betrayed? Maybe not want to live with me anymore? Nope. You've been working hard to take care of us on your own in place of mom and dad. You ask me, that's what a real family's all about, blood related or not. You could be a Roman or a monstrum for all I care. You'll always be our sister, Yufa. No matter what. What? Are you still hung up about not being related to us? How did... Ood, how did you know? Uh... <laughs> uh, you see... Well... Hypothetically... Remember when you used to have a diary? Don't tell me you read it! I can't believe you! There are things about Felix in there! Huh? Well, it's your own fault for leaving it on the table instead of putting it away. You're the one who's always telling us to put our stuff away. By the way, Mark knows too. But Elle doesn't really seem to get it either way. Y you Ood! Why, you little... Whoa! Hey! Get back here, young man! I'm going to crush you with a really, really big hug! Yo, oh, gross! Get away from me! Go do that with Felix! Hey! <laughs> yeah, you were right. Thanks again, Adol.
All right. Thank you. 